waves we create today will represent our emotions. Our feelings can come in waves, especially if we are working through grief, trauma, or hardship. The materials you'll need for this activity include just a piece of paper, a sharpie, or a micron pen. First, you will draw a rectangle in the middle of your paper. I am tracing a book to make it a little bit easier. You will then start near the top of your rectangle and draw a line that resembles a wave. From the tips of the wave, you will then begin drawing curved lines either to the right or left within the rectangle. Try not to overthink or overcomplicate this drawing. Draw the lines randomly or intentionally within your rectangle, but keep the lines curved. You may want to shift your paper around to help guide your pen as you make these waves. It is important to acknowledge the emotions we may have and creating art can help you process them. Certain emotions can feel heavy and overwhelming and this activity of drawing repetitive curves and lines can help distract our minds and help you refocus and gain perspective. Lastly, I decided to outline my rectangle with a thicker marker and added in the phrase, emotions come in waves. I hope this drawing can be a reminder that the heavy and overwhelming thoughts you may be experiencing right now will eventually pass. I hope you enjoyed this activity Thank you for joining me today.